not going to work. We're going to get a divorce. That's 100 <laughs> percent the case. You well, cannot no, be convinced you, you, to do something you don't want to do. You convince him to get married, then he's committed to the idea. Now he commits to. So a woman. he changed his mind because I changed his mind mm -hmm. permanently. And, and then the relationship with the woman, and he commits to her. So you're not convincing him to like walk down the aisle tonight. The <laughs> you're convincing him to acquire the mindset yeah, yeah, in yeah. order to get married and have a successful marriage. The only way I can see a hundred percent guaranteed commitment of a guy with a girl is if I pay you a certain amount of money. We have a legal documents say if you cheat on me you're gonna lose a toe or something then I think you're <laughs> never gonna cheat and you're gonna be committed a hundred percent I don't think that's how that works there are, there are spies I, there are people, people who risk their lives to betray the people who pay them money to like <laughs> like there's men aren't motivated that way I think it's way. more likely that a man cheat out of commitment than like some man like trying to like hunt him down in that in your situation if that makes sense I'm so sorry I don't I don't oh, sorry. I guess it, never mind. Yeah, I just feel like that's the only way you can guarantee a man doesn't cheat. That's the most likely Wait, way. Wait, how do you way. guarantee it? Yeah. Physical like, bodily harm? No, no, no. Physical <laughs> Threatening him with signing a contract. Yeah, contract. contract. Legal Implied binding like, and like monetary value because you cannot convince love. I cannot convince anybody mm. to be committed to me. But I can have a legal document that say you cannot say this shit. You cannot do this shit. You cannot touch another woman. That is more bonding you and more likely to be I'm just at the moment. A good person. I that's yeah. true, but but if, if you want me to convince them, I don't know if they're a good person you're or not. not very so. good. Your, your plan has people. flaws. I, well, for the first entire half of my life, I broke the law for a living. <laughs> like, no one, a contract isn't going to make a it's guy obey. The prison is full of people right now. They do not care about contracts. I, let me ask you a question. If you don't want to marry this girl and she wants to convince you to marry her, is it more likely that you cheat on her? Or is it more likely that you you betray the contract? In this scenario where you you just proposed, I agree. Yeah. That man should you should just right. not be together. Yeah, exactly. So, but, but this it, question phrase that we need to convince these two people. And these two people are not in love with oh, any of us. Oh, oh no, no. The question isn't to convince them to marry each other, no. or for Bucky to marry Brian, which would be awesome. <laughs> but uh, it's it's to convince Brian of the cons so that the concept marriage. of marriage is good and he should be open to Why it. Why would that? It's about more. Than be just open taxes. to marriage. Like she, yeah. Yeah. Why would he be open to marriage? Why is it such a wonderful idea to get married? Like, Peachy, why don't you want to get married? Yeah. I am not so cynical that I say I will never get married again. I have been burned. I will go into it with a lot more thought mm -hmm. so when the you, next time around. Do you, there are has you to open be to a relationship no question currently? Whatsoever. Am yeah. I. I w yeah, I want to find like my soulmate. Sure. You know? So you are okay. looking for the man you want to marry. You're just saying Stay that it's like, that you have incredibly high standards. I would be standards. very hesitant. I would need to like just wholeheartedly believe that this is the one. This is like meant to be. Yeah. But that's but you desire to meet him. That you want to have. Yes. Yeah. So you do want to get married. You just yes. you just want Prince Charming to do it, which is fair. <laughs> that's fair. So I wouldn't sorry. be able to like convince someone because I don't even understand all the rules and what everything would mean and that but yeah. I just think it would be so nice to meet someone we adore each other so much we just want to do everything that's possible have kids get married like my mom and dad have been married for like 36 years and mm -hmm. I think it's the best thing in the world yeah. and I think you just have to naturally want that with me I can't tell you oh no because exactly. if you marry me then this and that I don't even know yeah, <laughs> what the rules are like, you cannot convince someone yeah, yeah. of love yeah. at yeah. all yeah. why don't you want to get married I'm just curious mm -hmm. Yo, Robert Tanner, thank you for the gifted 50 memberships, man. Really appreciate it. Good to see you in the chat. Uh, so why don't I want to get married? Well, I guess let me lay it out like this. So my view is, absent some both partners having a religious worldview, mm -hmm. be it Christian or Muslim mm -hmm. or Jewish or whatever it is, I actually don't see, from the secular viewpoint, actually any reasons, at least from the male perspective, and I suppose it's not even so much the male perspective as it is the breadwinner perspective. I, can't, I don't actually see any reason to get married. Like if it, anybody can make an actual secular argument, and I don't, I'm not sure this is a super Christian panel to begin with, but I can't think of any actual benefits to the man or to the breadwinner when it comes to getting married, at least that outweigh the risks. So... For me personally, there's nothing that I can get in a marriage from a woman that I can't get in a monogamous long-term yeah. relationship. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have a hot take. I think might change. Wait, hold on. Let's let her answer, then I'll let you go. Okay. Uh, sorry, I was just gonna say. So, have it's follow up question actually. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in love before? Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Let's say everything was fine and dandy with that relationship. You wouldn't want to be married with that person, even though you were in love with them till this day. Well, I'm not sure that's really. Uh, I don't know if that's really an argument. Like, it, like you love them, thus you must marry them. But if she wants to be good I can, enough, compared to like, because I mean, something that I think about is if you're not committing to marriage, you're open to other options, right? Well, aren't you open to other options even if you're married? Of course, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I mean, marriage does not preclude one from infidelity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about uh, ritual marriage? Your issue is legal marriage. What if you were with a woman you loved and she said, no papers, but let's go have a priest or like a guy or I someone marry us? Cute. I like yeah. that. Well, I would have to actually investigate what the law actually says to that. Would there, even though it's not through the state, are there any legal implications to even getting a purely ritual marriage? If not, it's perhaps a little more enticing, but then I um, I still don't really see the point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I struggled with this. There's for a while data too. that shows men who are married like live longer, have better outcomes long term and are healthier, but I don't I can't like say that that doesn't also apply to a long term very committed monogamous mm -hmm. secular yeah, relationship. Why is everybody so scared of the cheating stuff? I hear yeah. everybody yeah. say oh, we have to have a contract, you have to do this and this. Isn't marriage about a wonderful loving commitment? Like the man is the man like Typical speaking, you're the man of the household. It's like what you're saying, very manly. The woman is in her feminine state. Together, mm -hmm. you get married. You have such a wonderful pact together, such a wonderful, lovely, powerful thing. You can sure. give that on to your children. You can be the woman. You can be the man. You can still be the breadwinner, but just like out of love. Why is everybody here so afraid? Oh no, yes, I have a contract for cheating and stuff. <laughs> if a person wants to cheat, he's going to cheat. Sure. Yes. But well, I think marriage should be about love and well, everything yeah. sure. that's wonderful. So what's not your point? Your, your argument usually is you can get most of what you can get in a marriage outside of a marriage. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. I want to bring this to the table, and it's probably a crazy thought, but I think men in a marriage should have reproductive rights. If you, if you actually get married legally, you should be able to have a say on whether or not your wife can get an abortion or not. I don't think it should be like you can just decree so a she contracting can't or not. Again. But you should, it should be more of a conversation. You should have rights. Well, I mean, I, so in this hypothetical scenario mm -hmm. where, but I mean, that's not an argument that but really like doesn't pertain to the con well, no, 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 hold on. That doesn't pertain to the conversation at all because that's not the law as that's it. That's fair. So in a marriage, a woman should just be my slave legally. <laughs> but that's not the case. Yeah. I'm not, that's not what I'm advocating for. But that's not how it is. C can I so I don't see something? how it pertains but to I the actual conversation. But I do believe what you're saying. I believe that a man should lead in a marriage. I no, no, mean, no, but I, I'm more so making a criticism of yeah. She's saying, well, men should have this right in a marriage, but they don't, and quite frankly, they never will have that. So that it's American kind of thing? like, yeah, Contracts. wishful thinking. But if it was, can thing, I add something? Convince you? For me, well, but okay. So you're saying the the wife she wants to get an abortion, but I don't want her to. Yeah, you'd have more of a right to be able. Well, to wouldn't stop that her. be such a mismatch of values that exactly. that would not be the type of woman for me to? Yeah, I guess I marry? just think of the scenario of when a woman's like, "Yeah, I'm ready to have a kid," and then they get scared after getting pregnant and they freak out and make a. But that would a rash so if, if you're as a man, if you're pro-life, and the woman is pro-choice, that's just an, an immediate mismatch of that's of values. So I don't think that. It would even work in the I, do, I, I appreciate don't think what you're saying. Yeah, I think but I, I think that, that in practice it is kind of like inter I don't think that would be It'd be a whole ordeal for sure. Yeah. yeah. But uh, go ahead, so, Isis. Um you said that you can get all the benefits without the marriage. It may be true. And if it's true, what essentially you're saying is you're selfish. You're not willing to give out any part of you for a woman because you can get all the benefit. But marriage might be a financial security and legal security for this woman. So this is exactly why I say you cannot convince you. We can never convince you because 
Fundamentally, uh, if you're selfish, I can't convince you to do something unless there's a value I'm providing you with, which is well, some kind of contract or money, or let's say I'm a billionaire and you really want to be mm, like a sure. 500, let's, this is a, a hypothetical situation. Sure. Then I'm like, oh, we're dating, and I'm like, okay, you have to marry me in order to get certain things. Then I think I could convince you. But if you just, if you can get all the benefits without marriage, why would you do it? it that, it's against human nature, and it's not possible. But why do you think it's selfish if a man doesn't want to get married? Why is that selfish? No, I, Maybe I don't he's think it's protecting himself. Maybe he's just uh, still mm. a very good provider. Because he will still take care of your children. He will still be there. He will take care of everything. Why is that selfish? If the girl wants to and he doesn't want to, isn't I think it it's selfish. selfish from the girl because so he's very, pressing him? Well, then y'all just what about if he's still a good provider for the children at home? Isn't that selfish of the woman? to pressure him. You say it's selfish of the man if he doesn't want to, but isn't that selfish of a woman to say, I want it, otherwise I will leave you. It's like a threat, right? It's mm -hmm. not, not fair. It's yeah, also it a little bit selfish. selfish. It is selfish, but we're trying to that. convince, I was gonna make that convince him. <laughs> right? Like, the question is how to convince him. You have to be fair. You have to be fair both I'll actually, ways. And I'll get you in yeah. in just a sec. I'll actually say, would I marry a female billionaire without a, uh, what's it called? Prenup. 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 That's the scenario in which I'll get married. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's like a money. way to convince you, right? If someone wants if that... If she's a billionaire, yeah. I will marry her. Yeah, to address so your concern. It's okay to be selfish. I'm not saying like, oh, you're sure. selfish and it's wrong. I'm, we're, I'm talking about the topic of, of convincing, right? I'm just saying this is the way to convince someone who think of his own interests. And there's no good or bad. There's no judgment on that. But do you not think it's a little dangerous? Because you say, I want to have a contract, I want to have everything, I want to have like a prenup thing if I mm -hmm. married a billionaire. Billionaire. Where is the love then? Because you will only get married if there's a contract thing. Why is it not the beautiful way? Why is always I have to provide you this and this and that, and that's because why I want to get married. Because I'm saying not this is the way I will use to convince him to get married. Not that I'm saying this is the best way. I'm not saying it's good to convince someone to get married. But the question is, how would you convince someone? Do you understand my point? But why yeah. do you want to? <laughs> right. Like, yeah, um, I think I might have something that. Before I have you go, you had something. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, so um, the way you're framing this question almost is like, why should I get married if it doesn't serve me in any way? And ultimately, like, it doesn't change anything about my relationship to this person I've been seeing long term or feel in love with. Mm. My question would be, what's the harm? If you're saying it doesn't really change anything anyway, why so, are you scared to get married? Mm -hmm. oh, How well. is that? Is that a money thing? Well, that's not what I'm saying. I, there are risks when it comes to getting married. Yes, there are. Yeah. And so that's my yeah. objection to it. But I, I'm asking you, I guess, what are those mm -hmm. risks that you perceive? So there's a couple. So there's uh, one, untangling a marriage is complicated. Mm -hmm. So from the financial aspect, uh, not just what the, the woman ends up getting out, but the legal costs in and, in and of themselves are going to be fairly substantial. Mm -hmm. uh, attorneys charge quite a bit. If you're the breadwinner, you're going to actually have to <coughs> probably go ahead and pay I'm for unreasonable her. man donated 200 mei yuan. My Chinese wife says the value in marriage is the strength and security I provide. Money and the rest is meaningless. Lot of broken dolls on this panel. Be better. Okay. Right, Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Unreasonable man. Wait, is this grid one? Money. Is this grid one? How do you one. have security without money? You uh, said that money is meaningless. How can, like, that's, that's oh, a very stupid uh, point. That's a question for you, unreasonable <laughs> yeah. man. So the financial risks, you have to pay for the attorney. Uh, you might have to even pay for your wife or soon-to-be ex-wife's attorney mm -hmm. if, you know, there's a mismatch in your her financial resources and yours. Uh, there's the time, the stress of untangling all that. And then there's going to be what she's owed, right? So uh, anything, even with a prenuptial agreement, often these prenuptial agreement uh, agreements tend to get challenged by the person, uh, typically the woman who's, initiate, who's typically also initiating the divorce, funnily enough. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, Kevin Costner, uh, he actually, his divorce proceedings were here in Santa Barbara. He had a prenuptial agreement with his wife. and in the prenuptial agreement, it said, if you challenge the prenuptial agreement, you lose X, Y, Z. And then she went ahead and challenged it anyways. 
Uh, so even with like uh, potential risks of challenging a prenuptial, mm -hmm. the lawyers will still do it because they can maybe try to weasel out of it, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, even with a prenuptial agreement, it typically only has to do with assets or money that you got before the marriage. But everything you got during the marriage really can't be, as far as I know, I could be wrong, not an attorney. This is just m from my research. Prenuptial agreements can't really do much when it comes to what's earned during the court. 10, 20 years, for example, uh, everything that's earned in the marriage is commu community property. So then she's just gonna get half of everything earned throughout the course of the marriage. Uh, I think that this actually will lead to a, marriage can actually lead to a greater likelihood of the breakdown of the relationship. Because if she's just dating you, and she breaks up, then she potentially loses any of those benefits mm -hmm. that she has from dating you. But if she breaks up with you and she's like, oh, now there's a financial incentive to break up with you. I'm going to get X amount of money. That's then it's actually like pushing her towards mm -hmm. ending and ending the relationship. So that's interesting. Uh, for I those, really, sorry. That's pretty much. I really, I really agree with you. I want to say that I watched this soft white underbelly interview with this mm -hmm. divorce lawyer about all the advice he's giving, and it is true that getting married is an event that is most likely to cause distraught and harm in the relationship and the benefit. And uh, no. Rick One Motorsports donated two hundred dollars. Yes, that was me. Sorry, Streamlabs got me. Men provide security, be being capable and competent. Even when I was not well off, my wife was not concerned because she had faith in my ability to provide. Yeah, this Yo, grid one. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. This is exactly what I was saying. If you have a man who will still take care of your children, provide in every way, is marriage not really necessary? Sorry. Uh, Security isn't him having money. It's him not leaving you when you both have no money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Comment meant emotional yeah. security. Yeah. Just to kind of continue with the point I was making mm -hmm. for the... So I think I agree with you because, like, I think half the marriage and in divorce and among the half that's not divorced, most of them are unhappy. So it's like, actually, it's better off if we don't get married. <laughs> that's true. But I do want to get married. I think it's just, like, a personal thing. Sure. Like a I did have that. one thing to and, say. Yeah. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Just one last thing. That's why <laughs> I was addressing to you. I'm like, I also have the selfish desire to not get married also. So Thank I'm you, not Justin. saying it's good or bad to be selfish in, like, we want. Yeah. 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 What's your thing? I, um, I have been through this, um, experiencing times where, like, being married, especially in the military, you can't live with them unless you're married. Um, and there's a lot of like legal issues with that. Like if you are not in a legal marriage, the government doesn't see them as like an extension of you. You can have trouble with like power of attorney stuff and like, you know, finances. Like I wouldn't be able to, if I was not married to my ex-husband, I would not be able to call his bank and say, hey, I need so-and-so unless I'm married legally. Is he so, still in the Marines? No. Oh, okay. I was like, you talking no. about his infidelity, it's illegal, isn't really? it? Can he be court-martialed? They, they can, yeah. But yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Is okay. he legal to 